so you're welcome to this video now in this video i'm going to be teaching you how to run snapchat ads okay and um this is a very full tutorial on you know snapchat ads tutorial 2023 for beginners so the next thing you want to do is you want to go to forbusiness.snapchat.com okay i'm going to write it on the screen and you click on login now before creating snapchat ads you should know that you need to have a snapchat account so i have already logged in on this my browser okay you need to create a snapchat account and once you create a snapchat account you'll be told to log in and the next thing you're going to see is this page we are actually going to get to okay so stick with me to the end and let's get to it so you're going to see something like business name and the next thing you want to see do is you know input your business name and fill in your e business email and your name do you understand your full name okay so i'm going to do that io is marketing i'm going to cover my email my name i'm going to click on next okay so let's get on with it now on the next page you're going to see something like where do you do business okay so uh in the country selection i'm in nigeria so if you're a nigerian watching this issue understand that there you cannot select nigeria in the country location so i'm just going to select us okay united states you understand if you're a nigerian watching this and the currency is us dollars and for the business phone number you can be able to select nigerian as your uh country okay or phone number do you understand so whatever country you are watching this video from select your country and um i'm going to type in the phone number okay the full phone number and let's get on with it bam 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 okay so i'm doing that right now okay so the next thing you want to do you want to tick that snapchat can reach you blah 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 what that you can see on the screen and you want to click on next you're going to click on next so once you click on next then on the next page you're going to see something like um, complete your public profile blah 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 ios market i'm going to click on create public profile okay or you could choose to use a different user so i'm going to click on create public profile and let's actually get to the next page and see what the page is going to bring okay so if you're new to this video don't forget to subscribe smash that like button and watch to the end so you're going to see something like get free credits it's on us spend 50 dollars and get 75 dollars spend 350 dollars and get 375 dollars for free so i'm just going to click on maybe later do you understand so i'm going to click on maybe later and beside you can see it on the screen being displayed to you anytime you are inside your ads manager okay here marked on the screen so you're going to see something like what is your advertising goal you are advised to click on website visit okay always click on website visit and when you click on website visit you're going to see this next page here which you'll be told to create use instant create or advanced create so you're going to click on advanced create because that will give you more full option for you to be able to create your ads professionally and using the right targeting okay let's get on with it so the next thing you want to do right now you're going to see different kind of objective and you click on i'm going to click on drive traffic to website you're going to see engagement video views lead generation whatever 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 so i'm going to use this video as drive traffic to website and um the next thing you want to do you want to scroll down and on the campaign setup you're going to see something like um campaign name i'm just going to leave that like that and on the status i'm going to you are going to see active okay so you're going to see end date which is march may 6 whatever whatever and you're going to see something like daily spend cap i'm going to put five dollars but i noticed that they told me they gave me an error do you understand that the minimum am amount you can choose is twenty dollars so i just had to edit it so you you need to understand right now that the minimum amount you can spend daily on snapchat ads is twenty dollars wow like facebook google and everything so the next thing you want to do is i'm going to leave this thing out and you're going to see the next under the screen where i highlighted okay that thing is covering it and when you click when you click on next when you click on next then you are going to get to the next page let's wait for you to load okay so use that to smash the like button and subscribe so you're going to see something like ad set name i'm just going to leave that like that okay this is a demo ad and for the budget and schedule i'm going to edit it 
away from fifty dollar to twenty dollar, which they actually accept. Okay, then the start and end date. I'm going to leave that like that. Okay, if you want to set an end date, you could tick that box that you can see below the date, and you're going to see something like placement. I'm going to click on edit placement. Okay just for me to see the available placements they have there and decide probably to tick off some placement. So I'm just going to leave that like that. And on the right side, you're going to see the, you know, add, S, add set estimate. Do you understand everything? You get what I'm saying? So you can see the categories, everything. So that is that. Do you understand? So you can see reach, impression, whatever, whatever audience size and um let's scroll down let's scroll down let's scroll down daily results let's scroll down then you're going to see in the location we have united states selected already so let me just try to add another country i'm going to click on add country Do you understand i'm going to click on that box and i'm going to input nigeria okay so once you input nigeria you're going to see it pop up right below that box boom so once you see it, you're going to see something like Nigeria, Africa, country. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to add it. So once it's added, I'm going to target. Okay, let's say for instance, for this demo, I'm targeting Nigeria and United States. I can see it's 106 million impression, target audience size and whatever, whatever. So in the age, I'm going to select 25. It's 25 to 50 plus. You understand? So as for the gender, I can decide to select all if I'm targeting both male and female or select male only if the product is only for male or select only female if the product is for female. Do you understand? So I'm going to select all for this, you know, demo campaign. I'm going to select all. And for the language, let's click on that box. Once you click on that box, we're going to actually click on English. So I'm going to click on English. I'm going to see it being selected there and marked. I'm going to see the audience, audience size, reach, impression. Let's scroll down. And um, you're going to get to the audience section, okay? So you'll be told to click on select category. Let's click on select category and let's see what is actually here. You're going to see different kind of targeting here, okay? Snapchat ad is a bit different, okay? So let's just click on this create audience. Let's see what is actually going to bring. Now on this create audience, if you can see customer list, you can see add engagement profile engagement look alike audience now that gets he, he, all this audience stuff that you're seeing uh, if you already have an audience like if, uh, some followers on your snapchat profile you know start, you can be able to use this to create a look alike create a list of them do retargeting and also on and so forth let's just click on cancel and let's click on that i don't have any audience as of now because we are trying to do as a beginner right trying to run as as a beginner we don't have any audience do you understand let's just assume like that so i'm going to be doing this ad for a skincare stuff so i'm just going to click on beauty mavens do you understand just to you know target my ads to people who are in the beauty niche so let's just click on it do you understand let's assume this is skincare ad so once done then this expand audience automatically i'm going to tick it off i don't just want this ad to just go straight to people who are outside of my target. Let's click on that advanced setting. Okay, there's nothing there and let's scroll down. Okay. So on the device, you're going to see operating systems. I'm just going to select all. If you want to target only Android, leave it in Android. If you want to target iOS, which is iPhone, leave it in iOS. So I'm just going to leave that device name, whatever connection type, leave that, leave all this and scroll down. So once you scroll down, you're going to see the delivery, leave it in active and the bid, leave it in auto bid. Do you understand? You're going to see the goal. Okay. So just leave all those things, leave the bid alone to auto bid recommended and scroll down. Okay. You can see everything. Just leave everything like that. Okay. Scroll down and um, you're actually going to click on next. I'm going to highlight it. There's something covering it there. So click on next. And once you click on next, on the next page, we are actually see where we are going to create our advert from scratch. Okay, the creative, the picture, the whatever, whatever, the links. Let's get on it. So you're going to see on the next page, name your ad. Okay, let me click on the ad name. Okay. Let me actually try to click on. You're going to see single image or video. 
story ad let's use single image or video and let's name the ad so i'm going to click on it i'm going to see this you are actually seeing on the screen <laughs> you understand this is a voiceover so just try to follow my voice and you know follow what i'm doing on this on the screen you're going to see my skin key ads and you're going to see something like public public profile are you to learn another or whatever you're going to see something like brand name i'm going to put in uh ay skin care and you're going to see it being reflected on the right side of the screen okay on the ads creative you're going to see it reflecting there you can see it there i'm going to go to the headline so you're going to actually input something in the headline okay just to give a call to action you know some things that is going to accompany your call to action so let me just input it on the screen right now <sighs> get the best okay i think there was a mistake in that side so okay oh that's too much you have to check out the number on the screen okay the text limit okay check out the test limit I wanted to input get the best cream for stretch man. Just make sure you input a text that is not much more than that limit they gave to you. Do you understand? And you see schedule, click just leave it as enabled and go down. Yeah, I'm actually going to you know click on upload. Okay. You're gonna click on upload, you're gonna click on upload, and you're actually going to upload the picture of your ad. So I'm going to, just going to scroll down on the screen. I'm going to try and check this picture it was not being accepted so i'm just going to try and choose another one click on upload again and check out my you know um the pictures i have on my system so let me just check it out and click on choose the picture i want so i'm just going to choose that one because it's in a vertical mode i purposely had to make this mistake for you so that you can be able to know where error is and what they actually desire you you have to check out this you know you can see the display of that picture the size of that picture you understand a long vertical picture is being accepted on snapchat okay so once you do this you're going to see the preview on the screen just wait for it to load and it's actually going to pop out okay for you so once that is that you're going to see it being shown to users like this you're going to see the preview here you can see your snapchat has been <laughs> it's like the as you see so you have to scroll down now once you scroll down you're going to see something like um okay the call to action you're going to click on it and i'm going to choose order now you can choose the call to action that match your advert so you are going to see it's been changing in that place can you see it here order now i'm going to input your website address so let me just input a demo website address just for an example of this video okay so let me do that hold on yeah 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 subscribe and turn on that bell notification icon if you like what you are actually seeing so once you do that you are going to see a kind of a warning uh, a kind of tip being given to you open this url in your browser private browser mode to check the snapchat whatever whatever just for you to cross check so i actually you know read out the thing and what you need to do is scroll down scroll down scroll down scroll down you're going to see delivery leave it in active all this one just leave it out and click on publish ad or next do you understand you're going to be seeing it where i'm going to highlight to you wait just wait wait for it okay all these ones there they mean nothing so you're going to click on next or publish ad and once you do that you're going to see something like review and publish okay and once you see this you can be able to review the settings of your ads check it out check it out check everything out review everything the demo of your ads how your ad is going to show and you are going to actually get to this place whereby they are going to request you to input your billing uh stuff so that you can be able to pay for your ads and it goes straight do you understand 
So you're going to see the payment details. You could choose credit card, prepay. I, I advise you to click on prepay, especially if you're in Nigeria. The prepay payment method allows you to add funds to an account balance that Snap will use as available credit for you to spend with funds added to your prepay balance are purchase advertising and non-refundable. You have, you, have, you have to understand this. So you're going to input your payment method nickname. I'm just going to put my name there. And the amount prepaid in dollars, the minimum amount they want you to add to your Snapchat account is $20. Let's just input that $20 and input the you know payment method nickname. And once we do that, okay, you're actually going to cl click on use a new credit card. Of course, we've not added a new credit card. We are a beginner here. Okay, so you can see twenty dollars. Okay, you can see twenty dollars there. And payment source, just leave that like that. And on the card order name, you're going to input your name, the expiration date, the CVV at the back of the card, then the country. You have to change if you're in Nigeria change it back to nigeria you know because your card is going to actually be in nigeria probably maybe you are using the domiciliary account and the zip code you want to input the zip code of your location listening to me very carefully if you are just trying if you want to get the particular card by which i use internationally which has one thousand dollars payment limit monthly internationally and it's a physical naira mastercard with a physical bank you can chat me on whatsapp using this uh link in the description box or just go to the website